Mi amores, meus amores, my amazing listeners, get ready for a dose of laughter and amusement because today's Wednesday podcast is all about awkward antics. In various moments, extravaganza. I am your shield leader of fun, Adriana, and I'm thrilled to kick off our midweek escape with some hilarious tales. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're ready for a Holocaust ride of laughter as you delve into a world of those cringe worth yet, totally amusing in various moments. Now, picture this. We are diving into a treasure chest of stories that might make you blush, giggle, or maybe even relate to those moments we wish we could erase. But hey, they are part of the grand mosaic of life, right? But before we jump into the treasure chest of awkwardness, let me share a little gem from my own collection of embarrassed moments. Brace yourself, it's a tale about a lot of drink in which end up with a puddle of pee. So, once upon a time, 2004, England, London. Me, Adriana was a day that she went to go out with her old friends for ice skating. So in that day, Adriana decided to have nice makeup. She was making herself beautiful, gorgeous. Then, from nowhere, her ex-husband come to her and to have some fun time. You know, fun time. Right now, that time, so no. She said no. You have all the day to have your fun time. Now you come after to me. Just become look hot and gorgeous. Ah, fuck off. I'm going out. I don't care. Maybe tomorrow, maybe later. I'm going to go ice skating. Well, he didn't like that. He got pissed off with me. I went ice skating. Then later on, he decided to go to the pub, meet his friend. So I stayed to the ice skate for an hour and then I went to meet him there. But when I arrived there, he was upset with me. He ignored me a whole night. He didn't want to talk to me. I was no one. No one. I was invisible, like I never exist. So my feelings got hurt. So I decided, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm gonna drink. Guys, I'm very light in drinking. I don't drink a lot. I, well, so that's it. So for you to know. I drank five pints of five milligrams of beer, those big glasses, you know? I drank Foster, beer Foster, and I drank five. I was okay, I thought I was okay, I was like, I can't do that. And then we decided to go home. When we decided to go home and I get up, right? I realized that I was fucking drunk, I was drunk, very drunk, bad. So anyway, we took... We took the bus and went home and he still ignored me. He, we arrived at our place we used to live on the streets called Ladbrook Grove in London. He went up the, fresh, the, fla- the flat and I stayed back. I decided to sit by the bus stop, call my uncle in Brazil, say, uncle, can we talk? I need to talk some more. I'm very sad right now and I was crying, talking, talking, talking. But then, I have the emergency I need to go to the bathroom. Wow, I need to go to the bathroom. Hey, I need to go to the bathroom. Then I told, uncle, listen, I really need to go to the bathroom. So please don't sweat off. And I was drunk, 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 guys, I was drunk. And then, I was in front of the door, okay? I need to open the door. But I could not find the whole key. I could not find the whole key to put, you know? I could not... Open the door. I was not able to find the hole of the key by the door. I was dancing. I was like those drunk people. Just imagine. I was across my legs. Squeeze, squeeze. Because I need to go to the bathroom. I didn't want my nun to pee myself. So I thought that if I cross my leg and squeeze tight, I'll not pee. So when I was trying to put the, the key, you know, on the hole, I was like right, left, but never inside 
where should be i was always getting wrong i said oh my uncle i cannot find the hole i cannot put the key you don't guess what i pee myself guys i didn't want to do that i did not plan to do that but i pee myself the pee just come out without my authorization it was there like a river come out and down and there was a huge paddle I could actually swim in that if I want you. <laughs> But anyway, that was my embarrassing moment. I pin on myself and I told my uncle, I pin on myself. I cannot believe that. I I didn't I never thought that it was possible for your pee come out of you without your authorization. I did not tell for my pee to come out, but it did happen. So guys, if you didn't know, be knowing now. If you drink too much, you need to go to the bath. Just please go. Otherwise, you just make yourself embarrassed. My luck that was not in front of anyone was just by myself. And no one saw. Not even my husband know. Actually, sorry, my ex-husband know about that. That appeared myself that night. After 20 years, he doesn't know. Maybe he's gonna listen to this podcast today and he's gonna see that appear. You know, gonna know that appear myself and how horrible he was to me in that day. So this is my moment of embarrassment. I hope I give you guys some giggles. And now it's your turn. I wanted to hear your most cringy, worst side splitting story. Share them with me, and we might re- revisit this treasure chest of tales in our, our next podcast. Oh, who knows? You might get invited to enjoy me for some life laughs. Laughs all on the air. Ah, guys, it was so nice to tell you guys this. I feel relieved now. <laughs> so, in embracing moments are like a badges of honor. Proof that we are all being there, done that, and survive with a story to tell. So grab a snack, set in, and let's embark in this hilarious, unforgettable journey together. Yes, guys, that's amazing. I hope you have some snacks next to you while I was telling my things. <laughs> anyway, so wrap up on today. Awkward antics. Remember, it's okay to laugh at ourselves. Life is full of unexpected twists and turns. And our embarrassing moments are just part of the unpredictable adventure. Stay tuned for more laughter, more fun, and more shared story on the Daily Dose Diversity. Let, let the laughter begin. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me. My way in this podcast. And guess what? Tomorrow is Thursday. What we're going to be talking about? About fun facts. Okay? I'm going to bring some hilarious fun facts. I'm a very curious person and I wanted to talk about that. So anyway, thank you so much again and see you Thursday. Bye!